It'll be one to go this time, by. Coming to the green, buddy. Coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, go, go. Dig, dig, dig. Go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Can you talk maybe just a little bit about this particular track, that notebook you opened for this one? The notebook I have here, there really isn't a lot of good written in that book. Um, I feel that we've been competitive at times. I feel that in the spring we had a, a really strong car here and was was positioned for a nice top five run. Had some things uh, go wrong there at the end with a flat tire. Uh, so I'm, I'm coming back excited. I had a great experience in the truck race. I really enjoyed that and, and we'll see, you know, Sunday, or sorry, Saturday night will be the, the final um, answer if if it really helped to run that truck race or not, but I feel that it, it's already helped me and uh, looking forward to it. I, I really want to be competitive here. I wanted to win on a road course and I missed that mark this year and uh, Bristol was the other one, so we'll see what we can do. Kenny, Ed, Randy. Jimmy, Go. Kenny Bruce, NASCAR scene. Two quick things. One, did anything about the truck race the other night surprise you? And secondly, heading into the chase, all the Hendrick cars have been okay, but none of them has really stood out you know, like some of the other teams have. Is it, is it helpful at all to enter the chase with a teammate who has had, you know, a, a generous amount of success wins during the season? Is there anything that, you, that a team could pick up from that? From my perspective or speaking like in the Gibbs perspective? I think so. I think when you you get to crunch times, and the chase is one of those periods of time, you you look a lot closer at your teammates, um, their setups, the driving techniques, and if something's working for someone, you've, you've got to find a way to make it work. You're out of time to sort out your thoughts and your driving style. So it, it is helpful to have a teammate that's that's been successful, has been successful in chase or at those tracks or that weekend. Um, it makes for an interesting dynamic between the driver and crew chief because the pressure is on more than ever and at first the crew chief typically has a hard time leaving his setup and his thoughts and going that direction and then once he clears that hurdle and does it now the pressure's on your shoulders because your teammates hauling butt with that setup so it, it really complicates the the situation there and it takes a strong driver crew chief relationship to work through that stuff um, the trucks the truck race uh, I was surprised how similar the vehicle drove through the center of the corner. It had a lot less power, so it was fun to be, be that aggressive with the truck. At the same time, I had no idea that I could go a half a lap and finally hit something or get hit down here at the end in turn two. Um, I thought I could gather that thing up with all the side force it has, but um, I had swapping ends and it was all over. We'll go Ed and then we'll end with Randy. Go ahead. Ed Hinton, ESPN.com. Jimmy, uh, an old controversy that you've probably heard before has kind of risen again on our website as to whether race drivers are athletes. Are you? Absolutely. And whoever doesn't think that we are, they should go to the Jeff Gordon Driving School or one of the schools that are out there and go run eight laps and see what it's about. Um, we absolutely are athletes. Well, Randy, we better, uh, better end it. We've got Casey waiting for us. Uh, Randy Pemberton, uh, SpeedTV.com. We know that you guys don't leave any uh, stones unturned. It was evident by the chassis adjustments you guys made down the stretch last week. You really had one of the better chassis over the last 30 or 40 laps, but yeah. you never got a chance to show that. How much of the truck race had anything to do with, with uh, determining some performance or something you can add to the cup race here this week? And one other thing, what's the communication been like back at the race shop, whether it be conference calls or whatever, um, between yourself and the 24 team or, or the whole Hendrick organization? We know how Jeff is struggling. So one about the truck and then what about the communication back at the shop? Um, the, the truck stuff, I'm not sure what's really going to cross over and we'll know a lot more after this, this weekend's over and the dust settles, but it can't hurt. And at the end of the day, if it's just me getting you know, more laps on track that's, that's going in the right direction, it's got to help. Uh, the fact that they don't run on bump stops and they're running the old style setups with coil bind and, and stuff like that, I'm not really sure what will carry over, but it can't hurt. I mean, it really can't hurt. And we had fun. So it's, it's fun to go to the racetrack. And I think I learned more. I always learned more as a kid when I was racing motorcycles. If I went to a, a practice session and had the pressure of, of riding fast, you know, I, I did what I was supposed to, but 
it just didn't, I don't know, something didn't sit as well as a free ride when my dad would take me out and say, just go ride. There's no motos you need to run. Just go ride and burn a couple tanks of gas and, and have fun. And that's what the truck race was for me, just to go out and have fun and, and try different things on the track. And then at, at HMS, we're all looking in areas to find more stones to, to turn over or find speed in different areas. Um, I, I feel that through the middle part of the season, we've really been working in the right areas. Um, I feel we can refine a little bit more in those areas and get the car more consistent and a little more speed out of it. But I, I think I think we'll have to find something else. And we're all working hard. We have a lot of testing still ahead of us for all the teams. Um, and I feel that with what we have, we'll be competitive and we'll be able to fight for the championship. But I really liked where we were last year. I mean, we between the 24 and us, once we got on the chase, we, we had a little something over everyone, and, and we could settle it between the two of us. And this year is a much different year. I mean, we're really going to have to fight for this one. And in some ways, I'm excited for it. I mean, it's going to be cool to see three different makes of vehicles, um, you know, three different drivers. And, and there's other guys that are certainly going to be a part of this. But um, it's, it's going to be a good chase for the sport. It's going to be a good chase for the fans. And we're going to have to buckle down and get to work. Jimmy, thanks a lot. We always appreciate you coming in. Good luck this weekend.